and welcome back to more three body problem. Can I just say one thing? Do you change your top? It's a brand new video and it's a brand new day. It's not a new day. <laughs> we are filming this My straight off the back of me. the last one. And between videos, here's a little secret. I always put on one song. It kind of like, for me, it keeps the hype up a little bit. So I put on Super Lady by G Idol. And you were vibing a little bit too hard. I was just like pigeon dancing. He was like, what was it you were doing? You just kind of doing that. And then and you I were... pulled a muscle in my neck. I was like, <laughs> ah! <laughs> I thought, that's when you know, man. Too old for this. Too old. Like, you know, it was four years ago that we went to Slipknot. I don't know if I could handle it now. 2024. Easy peasy. I got my hair done the other day. I don't know if Slipknot could handle it. And uh, boys. I had my Slipknot jumper on and the girl was like, I like your jumper. <laughs> I was like, oh, she's totally going to think I'm wearing like his jumper or like my brother's jumper or whatever. So I had to like be like, yeah, you know, I went to Slipknot concert and I don't know why. I just always feel like people would look at me and they would think she is not into metal music at all. I mean, they're just talking about G Idol. I like a, a lots. K-pop band. Yeah, but I, listen, I was into K-pop before it was cool. Okay, just throwing that All out. right, hipster. Oh, do you still use I a rotary was... phone? People copied me, okay? I liked it when I was younger and then nobody liked it and now everyone likes it and it's not fair. It was lame back in the day. I remember anime. Uh, anime's probably still lame. I, I hope it's still lame. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I remember when I was a kid and you had those kids on the the um, playground mm -hmm. that were pretending they were like Goku doing Kamehameha's and stuff and pretend they were Naruto doing like... The Naruto run. Freaking... Ta -ta -ta, jutsu. Pew. Jutsu. And I wish were... I could do one. And they were like the loser kids. Yeah, they were bullied. And now they're reactors. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> now they're reactors pretending they've never even watched anime. I mean, come on. There was so many. Okay. Here... No, I was going to okay. shade, but I'm not going to shade. Oh, gonna wait, here's it. something that cracks me up about anime reactors saying in you are one. Um, the, the people who are like quite obviously mega weebs and then they're like, I'm watching Dragon Ball for the first time. It's like, mother... I've seen yeah, Dragon Ball. Come on. God. I've seen episodes of Dragon Ball and I never watched anime, says the guy with the One Piece top on. Like, it actually blows my mind. And you know what? It, there's that many people that do it that I've got two, no, three videos, anime reactions that have over a million views. <laughs> you know. But the amount of comments I get on that, and I think this is the reason it trended, is because I get that. She is fake. She has seen this so already. There's no way in hell those tears are real. Like, she watched this when she was younger. And I'm like, but I didn't. I, I was playing video games. When I was younger, I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And Pokemon. <laughs> Guessy. <it. laughs> and I watched a couple of episodes of Dragon Ball Z only when I went to my cousin's after school because they had Sky and I only had regular TV at my house so we watched like I think Yu-Gi-Oh came on like a Saturday morning at 7am I used to get up early on a weekend so that I could watch Yu-Gi-Oh yeah and uh, Pokemon was just on every now and then you would Reactor catch like a random let's be honest Pokemon. here reactors are annoying anyway I'm glad I'm not one <laughs> <laughs> anyways three body problem oh what I was gonna say I have a real issue with the name just of this. Shade and shade and anime <laughs> Listen, I can shade a, an anime reactor all I want because I am one. Yeah. It's like, what's that word? Self-deprecating humor. I think it's like, I think it's like if you were like, yeah, I'm going to be playing um, all the Final Fantasies for the first time. Yeah, shut up. Like, it's like your entire background is just like Final Fantasy merch. Because uh, it, it's like that's what always cracks me up about them is like you see the the room. And the room has like all the anime that has ever been released in the history of mankind. And yeah. they're like, yeah, we're watching one of the most popular animes for the first time. It's like, what? <laughs> While having like a bookcase of like all the mangas and all the <laughs> yeah. DVDs. And it's like, why are you lying? <laughs> okay, what well, I was trying to say for the, the third time. I have a real issue.
real issue with the fact that this show is called Body Problem. This song's called Three Body Problem. I know, but hear me out It's all about orbital bodies, not actual as, humans. Yeah, but I, as somebody that has a real problem with, like, their weight, like, I fluctuate horribly from, like, anorexia to fat, basically. And you know I do. I, there's no happy medium for me. Having the name Body and Problem... See, every time I say body problem, I feel like I get like a weird PTSD where I'm like, do I have a body problem? No, you don't. You've got three. <laughs> but yeah, for some weird reason, it really triggers me. Well, it's talking about orbital bodies. I know, okay? but it's weird. It's like... And you might have put weight on in the past, but it doesn't make you an orbital body. <laughs> anyway, I'm just, yeah, it's, it's been bothering me. You're weird. I am very you're weird. weird. No wonder you're a bloody anime actor. Yeah, life. well, listen, I don't... I like anime. Why are we shading ourselves so hard? <laughs> like, listen, I enjoy it. I, the thing that just cracks me up is... The fakeness. Is the, like, hey, we're watching this for the first time and they've yeah. got, like, an entire background where it seems like... And that, that's where I was pulling it back. It seems like they were the types of kids that would be doing the freaking Dragon Ball Z moves on <laughs> In the, in the playground and all that. And I, I was friends with a lot of those kids. Like, one of the guys that was in my band used to absolutely love, um, I can't remember, it was like a PS2 Dragon Ball Z fighting game. Uh -huh. And he was like obsessed with it and like he used to draw like little anime characters and that all the time. Yeah, you didn't get away with that when we were in school. But you would nowadays, you'd probably be like the most trending popular kid <laughs> ever. So, I hey. doubt it, we're just out of touch. <laughs> They're probably yeah. still getting bullied. We like, I think bullies are lame. Just punch we like to tell ourselves, like, oh, yeah, that would be totally fine because we do it now. So yeah, it's like, oh, I bet, I, bet, I bet so much better. No, kids nowadays have got social media and that is just the devil. Yeah, I would not like to be growing up in this day and age. And I, I am still um, growing up, basically, but I would hate to be a teenager. I would suck. It would suck so hard. Could you imagine what they would have said about me when I set fire to my school? Legend! Legend! Um, like, oh, I don't have to go to school for six weeks. I feel most sorry for the kids of Gen Xers, so the generation above us, because they're not as... Like, I feel like our generation is quite into technology and stuff, so mm -hmm. you would know to teach your kids, like, about being safe online, basically. But I feel like the generation just slightly above us, or even, so, even some of our... Like, geriatric millennials or older millennials I feel like their kids are just like I, th I feel like they got the worst deal because their parents aren't tech savvy enough to help them mm. and also they had to kind of their formative years were when social media was really taken off and I think that's probably gonna have sucked this is why I have a dog this is why Gen Z is just off their meds. So you're gonna say they're just awful. They're just awful. No. <laughs> That's why they're just off their meds online. Bloody skimmy thought of it's that. Right, we have zero time to now talk about three body problems. So if you want to watch this unedited with us, head on over to suzylou.co.uk or patreon.com forward slash suzylou official. Links in the description. Because I am officially me. Yeah. It's funny because you did have suzylou. Patreon.com slash Suzy I did. And then I changed all my socials. Anyways, episode five. Let's go. Aliens. Just full on shade in the intro today. Just full on shade. So much shade. Someone, someone drew the blinds. There's that much. <laughs> I love that. So much shade you could put a lamp under it. Here. What was that, dude? So, if you're headhunting for MI5... I don't work for MI5. So, what do you think? <laughs> what do I think about what, sir? That. Yeah, stop being blase. I'm not asking for the press release. I'm asking what you think. I think you're not my superior officer, sir. I think he's everyone's superior officer at this point. Ask yourself why I come all the way to f govern. To f oh, God. Why would I, and I'm the busiest man you ever met, spend hours talking to your commanding officers, your college instructors, and every other bug you met along the way? He really likes that word, doesn't he? You can't say it on YouTube! Well, he's in govern now. He's allowed to say that word. Well, you could ask to see my ID, and to tell you who I am, and where I work. But if you ask to see my ID, I'll know you're a sackless wonder like every other top Navy man I ever met. 
May I see your ID? Oh! oh, you're the cyclist wonder. I hope Jen leaves you. I bet you wear your military dress uniform at funerals as well, you peacock. Oh, oops. Did you not like that ID? It's too expensive for asymmetric encounters with non-state actors. It's too vulnerable to cheap munitions, and it burns 4,000 litres of diesel an hour. If you gave me a billion pounds for naval defence, I'd spend it on a few thousand aerial drones instead of that. Now, was that so hard? The ship's a peacock as well. I should realise this. Why did you join the Navy? To defend my country. What I need you for is far more important. You to defend the world. From aliens. <laughs> Interestingly, I approached him though. It's almost like he knew that that's Jin's boyfriend. But so they weren't coming for over 400 years. Why? So how do you know they're going to be nice? Nice. Usually, when people with more advanced technology encounter people with more primitive technology. They just smash them into dust. Watch the colony. Actually, don't. Don't, it's not finished. Can't. So, 15th of August, 1977, E.T. phoned home. <laughs> you got a reply from the aliens? Yes. From the Santee listener who received my message. And what was the kind message that he said? Yeah. Don't respond? I told you don't do this. This will be bad for your people, but you did it anyway. I did. Why? Because our civilization is no longer capable of solving its own problems. But was that your decision to make solely? Well, I might as well. Man. Who else are you going to trust it to? I can't, man. Come for me in the comments. I don't care. I just think she was dumb. She doesn't get to make that decision, even though she did. Who does, though? Who would you trust? None. No one should have that much power. I think they're still after us. I led the cops right to them, so, yeah. Yeah, probably. The alien's still crawling her way here. <laughs> what are those? Are you sure you want to be taking all those? They're for anxiety. I know. I have anxiety. I know. Because people are trying to kill us, and maybe aliens are trying to kill us I now. know, but I'm sure they're not meant to be popped like candy. Augie, I love you, but can you f*** off? <laughs> Now I remember why we stopped living together. Just let me have my pills and my muesli. Hey, Wait, you're Alpen eating dry, dry oh, Alpen? Yeah. Protecting us in his hot little uniform. Oki is wholly unlikable. She's such a bitch, isn't she? <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but... I don't really know what's going on with him. I thought I knew if it was mum. Well, you did, just not on a deep level. She was like my sweet old auntie. Yeah, come on, Augie. Redeem yourself with me, please. They're moving us around like, like, with, with strings. Um, what's the... Puppets. Puppets. How do I forget that word? Well, I do that a lot. It's a sign of higher intelligence. So, um, we're gonna defeat the aliens? Well, of course it sounds stupid when you say it like that. What? Well, how else is she supposed to say it? You just, you just phone up, um... E.T. What's his face from Die Hard? Until it's... Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. And when is that gonna be? I don't know. For a genius, you don't know much. <gasps> Yo. Should I call it a genius, though? More time with a good cop. Tea? Coffee? I mean, do you want him to just throw it over you? Because I'm sure he could do that. I mean, not both. I'll smash out a cup of tea and a cup of coffee if you don't want any. The Lord allowed you to capture me, which means I'm no longer valuable, which means what I know is not a threat. Does that bother mm. you? I think your Lord has just thrown you away because of the conversation that they had with Evans. But I don't matter anymore. You don't matter. The people watching don't matter. Oh, well, hey, slow down there, Sonny uh, Jim. Don't you know who I think I am? We're right in assuming he's Vera's father. Only in the biological sense. <laughs> you hid the truth from her. I did. Why? Because she wasn't strong enough. 
Well, so Vera never knew about any of this. You're not the good cop after all. But he's just asking the straight questions, honey. Maybe Evans told them. She never met him. The first time he ever looked at her, she was in her coffin. I thought I was a <laughs> dad. I'm sure you are. <laughs> Jesus! You're nice. not a nice lady. Maybe she's a bad lady. Why recruit Jin Chong? She could be the most capable physicist of her generation. Even better than you? No. <laughs> She's a previous generation. There's one thing we can't figure out. Just one thing. Oh. It takes four years for a radio signal to get from our planet to their planet, correct? And another four to get a response. But from what we can tell, Evan spends most of his life on a ship. Yeah, so how does he have direct contact, like instant contact? That's the way to communicate. But faster than light communication is impossible. It's because of the bounce off the sun or whatever. I wish I could show you what the future looks like. You don't have a clue what it looks like. You're just a crazy old lady. She has no clue. You know what I mean? Mm. Ever have a DNA test? Check your heritage. I have. You know what I am? Half jackal. Italian. <laughs> Except for this bit. I'm 1% Mongolian. We're practically brothers. <laughs> you know what these are, Clarence? Iron stirrups. Almost a thousand years old. Take a look. Okay. That's the second gen of the game. You did a good job with the old girl. She's not hiding anything. In her mind, it doesn't matter anymore. She underestimates us. Either that, or if Yeah. She either underestimates you or she knows the capabilities of your enemy. But it's like, I know they're on their way, but I don't think they're as smart as she's letting on. Hmm. Based on that lie conversation. We need to find out what kind of stirrups they got. Correct. It's not about them being smart. Why don't we neutralize everyone aboard the ship without damaging the data? If you're thinking special forces, it'll be a gas and bloodbath on both sides. Put the navy on. Jin's man. Drones. Fun fact. Did you know the Judgment Day just booked a slot at the Panama Canal Authority for next month? Oh. It is such a difficult one though, isn't Drones it? There's a Scottish guy that designed the Panama Canal. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Morale seems good, all things considered. Everyone puts on a brave face when you're around. People are worried. Remember the ship that got stuck sideways in the Panama Canal? Caused a massive issue for like the entire bloody planet. <laughs> a moment like this is a great test of faith. So he's not heard back from the lady then? Mm. The Lord speaks with me every day. This raid was no surprise. Do you think they would have allowed it to happen if they did not want it to happen? God, he's just brainwashed, isn't he? If our comrades in England were captured or killed. That is all part of the Lord's plan. Yes, yes, of course. Oh my God. I find things like this, like, really hard to deal with. I just hate well, seeing people get so brainwashed. Well, the difference is, he's actually got a Lord, Lord. or a God, that I understand of silence. he has seen physically interact with the world. We continue to serve you. You mean by like the anymore. winking lights and all that? The winking stars? Well, he's probably seen way more. And he's speaking to them, come on. Oh, he doesn't know who he's talking to. It could be the girl in the bathroom down the ways. Please, my lord. It's funny he's like saying to that guy like, oh yeah, it's all part of their plan. And uh, he's kind of hiding the fact that he... Yeah, yeah he's kind of... Why up would that. you sneak up on me like that? Million pound, though. Spoiler. Stopped at Marks and Sparks on the work. I haven't heard it called Marks, Marks and Sparks. Sparks in forever. Our people keep their secrets locked away on a big ship. If we're going to get our hands on those secrets... We should get heads up production on the nanofibers. Uh-oh. What? Oh. Why? What are my nanofibers going to do against them? I can't tell you that. So you just Top want to secret. Yes. 
So you want her to test what happens when it hits zero? Is that what you're saying? Don't worry, we'll protect you. Might as well. I would like to actually see someone hit zero. I think we're going to find out. I, she's only nah, had a minute left. Nah, I reckon she'll shut it down again. She'll get scared. I don't blame her for getting scared. All the jackboots they've got on the go. And anyway, why doesn't she just get someone else to boot it back up? Be like, well, it wasn't me. I know. Sure, there's enough subordinates that are able to fire this thing up. Yeah, just be like, oh, I quit, but someone else has <laughs> done it. There are things out there more than four light years away that can imprint images on my retina, so men with guns are not going to protect me. Aliens didn't kill Jack. Oh no, that's true. I need a drink. Do you want a drink? <laughs> <laughs> Man after my own heart. What is it? Whiskey. What? Oh man, whiskey what is whiskey? nasty. No. Can't afford the good. <laughs> oh. Well, you know yourself. Well, I know. I get you a whiskey every Christmas. Well, so you got I'm a broke. Ball. You got a good bottle of whiskey for 40 quid. See if this turns out to be nonsense, man. Oh. It, it is, isn't it? She's going to go down to zero and nothing's going to happen. They're just trying to threaten us. Will it go to the corner? No. <laughs> Listen, if you're a 90s baby, you know. They should have actually had it like just set up so it goes <laughs> into the corner. That would be quality. I mean, how many times in school that were you not paying attention, you were looking over at the screensaver? I always paid attention in school. So I'm so smart. Smart. <laughs> smart. Come on, Augie, you got this. Think of all the jobs that were lost. Oh, time Give it didn't time. Start back up. Give it time. Why not? Hmm. I'd be scared about that. Maybe it's an invisible timer. Hold on, give it five minutes and then we'll see. Well, maybe they've gave up on being like, oh, we need to keep them... Alive. Because of the lie thing. Well, not alive, but we need to keep them... Uh, the numbers. Primitive. Why didn't they come back? I think the Lord stopped protecting his flock. Mmm. You're the finest engineers in the Royal Navy, which doesn't mean to me. <laughs> when you've succeeded, there'll be no medals, no public recognition. No glory. But the next six days are the most important ones of your lives. Do not f*** it up. He's a real prick, isn't he? What? No, this is how people command their troops. Yeah, exactly. I think it's weird that he chose Jin's boyfriend to lead the mission. I do. Everything he does is weird. Yeah, I can't explain that one. It's top of his class. I was a uh, lead detective on a murder case. Yeah, a Mexican bloke pushed his wife off a cliff. No, I did it. Tequila. Why does she have to say it like that? <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> Thanks for the prep talk. That was, that was good. Yeah, I figured it out. So basically now they're coming to just destroy us all. This is really funny because he said when we went down to the premiere, he was like, my role in the show is to sit on a beach. Yeah, yeah. I'm Selwyn Pugh, solicitor to the estate of Jack Rooney. Oh. I'm sorry to bother you in holiday. It's just that it's rather urgent, given the scale of the bequeathment. <laughs> is that a real word? <laughs> it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> sorry, I'm super high. <laughs> my client, the late Mr. Rooney has left you half of his estate, oh. which, after taxes, amounts to almost £20 million. What? And he's like, oh, great, and I'm dying. Awesome. I'll make sure he signs everything. Yeah, he's like, great, I'm going to get it, die, and then the tax man's going to get another pound of flesh out of the estate. Yep. Give us, like, 20 hours to process this. I think you know what Jack would have wanted. Find the best on Congress on the planet. Find the latest treatments. Too late give give yourself a shot. How do you know it's too late? I've got a second opinion, so I'm not a idiot. 
spread too far. Have you tried mushrooms? If Jack was there, we'd tell you to stop quitting. I just want to, like, look at the sky, you know? Yeah. Eat some good food. Have a few really good weeks before it all gets too rough. It's like the same conversation we had with Breaking Bad. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry? I'm starving. You know, there's a Cornish pasty shop just down the road. I love Cornish pasties. Who doesn't love Cornish pasties? I haven't had one in like years. <laughs> you can buy five million. <laughs> <laughs> I bought one when we were in London not that long ago. I always go for the sausage roll, and that's my problem. Do you like a sausage roll though? I can't. Have, I should get both. Just get both. Yeah, just get fat or save one for the next day. How does it? Well, like I've never dealt with like wills and shit. But how does that work if he's like, I don't actually want it, can you just give it all to Saul instead? But give me a fiver so I can get a pasty. <laughs> well, because obviously Saul would just be like, well, I'll just spend any money on you. But then, you know, tax man. We need to age it before we add the nanofibers. I don't know why, but there is a big part of me that's like, yay, I love this for Augie. Yeah. <laughs> this is her character turn. Yeah, it's nice that she's actually getting to use her research. Track? Yes, sir. 26 hours to judgment day. So what are they doing? Are they going to stick this in the bottom of the Pan Panama Canal to chop open Judgment Day? Sure this is Commander Verma's forte. Double check his work. Then why did you hire him? Hmm. He's required to accompany the ship all the way to the Pacific. Can't we? Is there any way that we can warn him? No. Well, which do you think is more important to the human race? A canal or defeating an enemy coming to our world to take it for themselves? Pretty much. Oh. You do what you can though for the aliens. Gotta break a few eggs. But, but, but. That's exactly what the, the Chinese me. lady thought. <laughs> just, now, he just told her to triple check his work and then him to triple check her work. <laughs> Great, two people I can't trust. You're an able guy. You know what type of ship, how big the crew is, right? It's not a naval ship, it's a converted oil tanker. If the systems are fully automated, it could be a pretty small crew. Just give me a guess. You're in the military, okay? You don't care about that. It just makes you sad. Why wouldn't it work? Because we've never made fibers this long before. We've never tested underwater before. We don't even know if the supports will hold. The supports so will hold. Augie, character turn, honey, come on! They wouldn't have sent they, us all this way. Who's they? Wade? Who the f*** is Wade? Who are Wade's bosses? They were telling us to kill people. We don't know for reasons that we don't know. And you're just like, yeah? Cool. Welcome to the military. Well, that's it. When you're in the military, you just go there. Boo, 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 boo. Just point me in a direction. I'm not like you. Nope. I didn't sign up for this. Well, then leave. You understand this stuff better than I do. You're military. These are the people that are after you and Jen remember this. Well, not you, I guess, but they're after Jen. Well, they were after her. The timer? Hmm. And they killed Jack. Mm -hmm. Like I do, and that's the thing I don't get. Where oh, what about the people? It's like these are the same people that killed Jack. And it is unfortunate, though. Let's kind of bring it back here. There's a lot of kids on there. It's just a giant. Well, hold on there. That's a bloody cruise ship. Please oh, do. Okay. Please do not was... chop up the oh, cruise God, ship. Oh God! What if they chop up the cruise ship? Let's do the test on. <laughs> Jesus. But there is a lot of people on the judgment, so. Mm -hmm. And there is kids, and so I can understand where Augie's coming from, where it's like, how do I put this out of my mind? That's the last one. Let's go. Charlie, Charlie 1, all call signs go. Oh god, what if there's an unregistered boat? I can't... I don't think there could be an unregistered boat. <sighs> Yo, there no, that is cool. I thought they were just going to chop the bottom of the hull. They're actually just going to slice through the entire thing like they're it's a bit of cheese. Like, yeah, they're going to do that Resident Evil movie. With the lasers. You literally can't see them, eh? You okay? Well, no, they're nano. Nano fiber. Tiny. Maybe the aliens should have kept Here's her shutting it down, you know? Mm. <laughs> oh, I can't watch this. It's going to be crazy. I hope it works because it'll be sick. I think she's gonna shut it down. I don't think she's got the, the, the authority. 
She's just there as an advisor. It's just her technology. Yeah, but she's going to think she's got control. No, she doesn't have control, though. Hot I wouldn't have control. Judgment Day! I would not give control of a military operation to a scientist. I'm sorry. There is a lot of families on that. This boat is, like, mainly family. It's finally deserve it. Look at the evil in their eyes. <laughs> okay, so he's on the ship. I, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I didn't twig that. With his cat. No, oh, the cat's gonna die! No! We're about to sever that one. I think, I think the aliens are gonna be like, actually, no. For this. You think the aliens are gonna stop it? I think that's going to be the big thing, is they're going to actually see. How can you not be like, what are those two poles there? It just loads of rusty poles. Okay. Uh-oh. It's not working. What did you do, Augie? Oh, come on. Why isn't it working? It is. Oh? I guess they're that small. Oh, he's gonna get shot. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, God! Oh. oh, God! Oh, no! No! Oh, that is sick! <laughs> Mate! Mate! Oh, my just, God! He just lost his lunch. Oh, my oh. God! They can't. The family, I can. This is terrible. <laughs> what? That's oh, nuts. Get That's out the not way, little boy. Oh my dead. Oh my god. Of course, it wouldn't show the show them cutting a lot more. Well, thankfully, nobody wants to see that. What was that? I don't know. Did we schedule a fire drill? Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's sick. Behind you! Oh my god, oh my, oh my god! You've got to watch where it cuts and just try and... Like, you can lie on the floor, you might be fine. Oh my god, you can't see anything. Oh, that is brutal. But why is the ship itself not falling apart? Could you imagine that in a war zone? Oof. You know what I mean? Oh, Augie. Oh. oh, there you go. There, there goes your child. That, is, that was a child, that was a man. Oh. Oh, oh, God! No! Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, the noises. The, the squelch and everything. Oh, this catch is not! It. I have never seen anything like this. Could you not just, like, stop the, the boat? But why are the walls not collapsing in? Or is it that thin a cut that it would just oh, like... Oh, he's done. He's done. We under attack. Oh. Is it that thin a cut that it would just... Ooh, oh, God! Settle back down on itself? Like, I'm so confused. Nah, what has he picked up, though? You're gonna have to jump. Oh. That's how you break a hip. Oh, I was worse to get jumped! Oh god! This episode is killing me! It's killing you! Oh! He's done! Let's see if your lord protects you! See if it does. My lord! Oh, oh my god! Didn't we want to, like, collect something by doing this? Just the data, but... Well, we got a data that a thing works. My heart, my God, my Lord. Oh, oh, oh look at all the slices through it. Oh, that is awesome. Now quickly take it down before a cruise liner goes through it. Listen, girl, you invented it. So... Oh yeah, look at that. You see the... All the little slices. Yeah. Wow. Can I just say, like... I ain't never seen anything as crazy as that. 
Slap like bloody Damien Hurst exhibition. Ah, oh, I'm sure there's that one person that survived. We didn't that see the so cat die. That is so cool. But also, I thought you were supposed. Yeah, like you say, I thought we were supposed to be getting the data. Like, what did you? Like, I thought you wanted the guy as well, potentially. Like, you wouldn't blow it up because you wanted to make sure that you saved the yeah, data. Yeah, that was the whole thing. We didn't want to do this that. much damage. <laughs> you just done total obliteration. Like, the point was like, oh, we need to do this so we can get this info or this for this info. And instead, you just went, why don't we just, like, smither deans? I know it definitely does not seem like a good idea. It's <laughs> just nuts! Fire it. Oh god, it's nuts! So how did that go for you? Was that good for you? I'd done exactly what they wanted it to do. Congratulations, Dr. Salazar. You're a murderer! <laughs> You're under arrest! Yeah, you literally have the scariest weapon of war or whatever you would call it. Do not ever let that fall into the enemy's hands. Oh man. What would you invent that for? Well, because you can. I didn't stop to think. Should you? If they should. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's like, what would you use it for? Oh, this is all about filtration. I would be interested to see what practical applications it would be for some, some uh, incredibly fine incredibly strong material like so terrifying that it's invisible to like the human eye use that one on the aliens i bet it makes some really strong fish in line <laughs> you can just slice the fish <laughs> yeah pre-made sashimi oh for god oh, look at three legs that would be devastating absolutely devastating but you also probably wouldn't let the civilian into that <laughs> Ew. Hey, listen, don't blame him. He was also being used for the job. Go home. So how did that make you feel? We found him. Oh, we found him in bits. But what was he holding? Maybe that's useful. Oh, it was a wee red thing. He only got chopped once, I think, so... I didn't seem to get chopped across the red thing. They're quite happy just murdering people off in this show, aren't they? Ark, I never liked him anyway, to be honest. Oh, very nice. Listen, he caused the issue with the whole lying thing. Like, he's kind of a moron, because in his death, He's just handed this, mm. whatever this is. I mean, he obviously thought he was going to get away, so he took it, but... As soon as I realised I was going to die, I'd be launching that thing off of me. Assuming quantum encryption 20 years ahead of ours, median time would be 3.8 trillion years. <laughs> Don't f*** about. Could strike it lucky. 3.8 billion years? Just tell everyone if they unlock it, they get billions of pounds. You'll have all the crypto miners right on it. As I said from the beginning, brute force cryptography just isn't going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Are we being communicated with? I think they've just let them open it. It's open. You didn't do anything. It opened because they want us to see what's inside. Mm-hmm. 28 gigs of text and media files? Isn't that less than my phone? Maybe not your phone. <laughs> what about that? I don't point at my screen. Not familiar with the file type. I say you don't want to just open oh. up. Oh! 102 petabytes. I don't know what that means. It means it's a lot. 100 million gigabytes. What? That's more than my phone. Your so, phone, man. Oh, you wouldn't have liked it. Like God's fingernails scraping his chalkboard. Anyway, sorry for your loss. <laughs> Although it sounds like he wasn't much help around the house. <laughs> there you go, you got your nasty policeman. Do yeah. it. Did they let us do this too? Yes. Why? Why would they let us destroy their ship and kill your boyfriend? 
Because the reasons enough. are beyond my ability to comprehend. Ah, oh, she's just talking nonsense. What's true? Like why did they let us destroy their ship and kill their followers and break up your party and arrest you? Am I under arrest? What crime have I committed? I don't think he needs a reason to arrest you. It's a recording of the conversations between Evans and your lord here. We put together the best bit. Oh, wow. So you actually managed Find to get it. Find space friends really are and what they really think of you. Uh -oh. Be careful with what you know. I wonder what the petabyte what file was. Again. I wonder if it's the game. Was that all the conversations, maybe? Not that. Not 100 petabytes. Now you crazy. I said it had images in it, too. Yeah, but that was the one that was like a couple of gig of... Like 30-odd mm -hmm. gig of... Come on, honey, hit play. You do this? You lie? Well, I try not to, but... Um, yeah, yeah, we all do. Sometimes. One way or another. This is it. This is the. This is the big turning point. It's the moment. A liar cannot be trusted. We cannot coexist with liars. We are afraid of you. And therefore, we're gonna destroy you. Yep. Come on, there has to be something after. My lord, are you there? Guess what, honey. You brought them to us! Just remember! Oh yeah, she brought them to us thinking that they were going to help save humanity, save the world, all of that. Yeah, but she didn't know who they were. Talk about taking a risk. Hey, this is Raj. Leave a message after the beep. Like, now we have confirmation that they're coming to destroy us. Oh, oh. what the... <laughs> oh, it'd be terrifying. What are you doing here? Picking you up. What? What for? Most people would be flattered that their boss came to pick them up for work. You're not my boss. I am now. <laughs> Commander Verma tells me you understand extra dimensions, higher dimensions. When did you talk to Raj? I talk to him all the time. I talk to all my employees all the time. <laughs> higher dimensions. I believe you discussed the subject with Commander Verma before. Yeah, I was talking about Nanbred. The result of your boyfriend's last mission leads us to believe we may be in need of this kind of understanding. Well, I don't know anything about his last mission. I haven't been able to get in touch with him. Where was he? Panama. You're very pushy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be working for me after all. I don't work for you. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> well, your boyfriend's last mission cut a ship and con a ship and ship. Ship and container ship. A ship, ship, ship and ship. Into multiple dimensions. They want to show us something. What? Don't know. No one has seen this yet. Anybody seen this yet? No, sir. Be too scared to open it just in case it's like. I don't know, what could it be? Just a really big Excel spreadsheet. What do we do now? You prepare yourself for something very strange. Oh. Apparently. Oh! He's no, going in. Very strange. No, he's not invited though. I meant. How do we get it started? Oh, bless him. You said they want to show us something? If they want it to work, it'll work for us. All right, then. I want to see his outfit! Come on, then. Ah, oh, the camera. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, it's just regular clothes. How do they know what we're wearing? I don't know. Because your brain knows what you're wearing. And yeah, it could just be connected. your brain that's... Uh... I want to know how they actually take the helmet off if their entire body is in this world. Maybe you can do it with your brain. Hi! They look like us. We don't look anything like this. This is all for your benefit. What do you really look like? Definitely the Lord. You wouldn't like it. Ooh. Why did you bring us here? Is it the aliens from The Simpsons? <laughs> Our species is doomed. Why? How long will the fleet take to reach Earth? 400 years. That's why we're doomed. They can't reach us in time. Hmm. How long did it take you to discover agriculture? Why don't you cut and tell us? It took you 90,000 years to get from hunter-gatherer to farmer. After that, how long did it take you to become industrialists? Ah, it's Moore's Law. 
And how long do you think it took us to get from hunting to farming and farming to industry? A lot longer. Our planet is stable. Our catastrophes aren't really catastrophes. We've never had to start over. But they do. Every time they get wiped out. I think we'd be getting better at it then, wouldn't you? By the time we do, you will have long surpassed us. Okay, so what's the problem then? And then come back mm. and destroy our world to make sure we never threaten you again. Well, why threaten us? Unless you figure out a way to disarm us. Or just go away. Have you? Yes. Oh. What is this so fun? It's a proton. One we have turned into a sentient computer. You can't make a computer that small. It's impossible. Impossible for you. So your computer might be small in, in, in the third dimension. Damn. So it's funny that they have all of this, but yet are still concerned that we're so much stronger because we evolve faster. It's not that we're so much stronger, it's that we will be by the time they get there. And they're going to cover our entire planet. Well, thanks for letting us know. Now we get to find a way to not have this happen. If pos. Like, just go away. Go somewhere else then. If you can't come to us Make a mind and be strong, go somewhere else. And then encode it down into a tiny, 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 tiny thing. I understand my purpose. I am ready to return to my original size. Please proceed. So Jack died for nothing then. That's all I'm getting from this. Well, yeah. Each pair is entangled. Connected on the quantum level. Two remain with us. The other two we've sent to you. Okay, there's two. They entered your solar system months ago. Please well, don't take four years. Planet. Just over. To the places where your best minds <clears throat> explore reality at its most fundamental level. Hmm. So that's what started the countdown? We destroy the science that could defeat us. Well. Hence why in the start, they were all, all over the place. Mm-hmm. In place of truth, we give you miracles. <laughs> wrap your world in illusions. Let's try to make all the scientists not believe in science, but... We are everywhere, anywhere, always watching, learning all your secrets, and covering your lies. I mean, how and the hell you could actually manage to deal with this? Mm. You couldn't. Yeah, what are you supposed to do? Uh-oh. And just so you know that we're telling the truth, we're gonna mess with you a little bit. They've already killed a ton of the smartest people. Well, that's it. So they're trying to, they're trying to make all uh -oh. intelligent people believe in gods. Yeah. That they're the gods. So they stop whatever they're doing. And then if they can affect technology and like they can basically put us back to the stone age. I have to get out and touch grass. Don't you be hurting the shrines. Really strange seeing a monk with a smartphone. <laughs> oh my oh. god! <laughs> Bugs! How dare you? It's so rude. God, if that actually happened, people would just think it was Banksy or something. <laughs> Technically, we are kind of bugs on our planet. We're not. That's not wrong, really. So how does that one oh. feel, huh? Still would press the button, would you? Oh, they'll come and fix all our problems. What do you mean by exterminating? I... I think even before the lie thing. There you go. I reckon that the person... I wonder... The person he was communicating with, I wonder if that was the computer. Yeah, I think so. And that's why I didn't understand lying and stuff. Yep. Whereas their people probably understand it just fine. Oh Yo. man, that's so creepy! No! 
Isn't that Fuji? Mm -hmm. That's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, hey, boyfriend. Oh, the eye. <laughs> the show is actually giving me the heebies. The absolute heebie jeebies. I don't like being watched except on YouTube. <laughs> Like, what are you supposed to do? You can't do anything. Like, at this point, it's game over. Well, it's freaking Harry Potter looking place. It's probably Scotland. Oh no. It's the Terminator. That's like the big brother eye. <laughs> oh. I still don't understand her. Like, I don't... She just thinks that she's seen bloody God. I just don't know if she's, like... I don't know. Well, do you know what? Now it makes sense, right? So see if she's acting on behalf of them, but she's human. Mm -hmm. And they've managed a way to get rid of her on the CCTV with Augie. Mm -hmm. Have nothing there with Jack. Mm -hmm. Well, they've just proven that they're in all of our systems. They can do whatever they want. So yeah. that was just them doing it. So, okay, okay. She's yeah, proven that she is not an alien. But it's exactly what it says at the start, the first episode, when Vera was talking about God and the, mm. the Arthur C. Clarke quote of um, significantly advanced technologies indistinguishable from magic. Yeah. And I was saying that if you can show people things that you know yourself is physically Im impossible, for example, they had a hadron collision that went all over the shop, and they were like, "Well, like it's impossible to do that. Like you've broke physics." Yeah, in there. the first episode. Yeah, you've broke physics. Yeah. The only possible explanation is that something of incredibly advanced technology has done that, mm -hmm. which other people would look at as being a deity, a god. Yeah. So it's very easy for them to be like, I am your god. Mm-hmm. Because we are more advanced yeah, than exactly. you. And why wouldn't you, you know, at the end of the day when something like that is happening and it's happening in front of you? But I think these people know that it's not a god. Like, we know you're not, like, all-seeing, all-powerful god. Mm. However... When they can see everything and they can interact with stuff and literally imprint things in people's eyeballs, mm -hmm. you know, pretty godly. Pretty terrifying. Yeah. But how are we gonna how are we gonna fix it? Feck knows. Just nook the sky. Pretty much, yeah. How how do aeroplanes work? Do they fly through the eye? Oh, well, I don't know what that. Well, I mean I'm just saying it'd be a little bit weird. That boat. We, we don't scene... know who struck first, but we know who burned the sky. Scorched the sky. Scorched the sky. Yeah, that whole... Um, the boats, the other quality. My that was God. So good. Like, I, I didn't know what to expect when they said what they were going to do. And then as it was happening, I was like, this is insane. Yeah. Now, I can see why that episode cost 20 million. Oh, that was, to, quality. That was so good. Yeah. To put together. But uh, yeah, I'm going to rewatch the end bit there because I was talking over a bit. So I just want to hear... Some more of what they were saying oh, in regards nice. to it but yeah obviously them knowing that they're not what's the word progressing as quick as we do and then being like oh well we're screwed because by the time we get there you'll well just take us over so there's no point in this whole journey and therefore i find it interesting though that they're like and i wonder if that's what the conversations were about i wonder if they were like Oh, well, maybe they won't kill us when we get there. Maybe, like, it'll be fine. Yeah, they were testing us. And then they were like, oh, no, no, they are going to kill us, so we need to do something about this. Yeah, and then that's why they shut it off. Because mm. they were like, there is no point. Yeah, maybe originally they were like, oh, maybe, no, maybe we'll be fine if we go to this planet. Maybe they'll be nice. Yeah, I think they had to be like that. But it still doesn't bring it back to the day she pushed the button. Why? And the guy was like, we will destroy you if that was never going to be the initial maybe, thing. Maybe they had been building like the big computer and stuff like that for the ability to attack yeah. if they felt threatened. And, and then they knew they couldn't. And that was just a person that's like, no, they will just, like, they will kill you. Yeah. What an idiot that woman was, huh? I thought we were going to get a bit more of her in the 70s. 
It's crazy how it just jumped. I don't know why though. Like, I what don't did know. You expect? I think after? I. I think I was just expecting more time with that section, and then the the jump forward. Yeah, I don't know. I just. Oh, well. And the show's moving quickly. It is moving quite quickly, moving which quickly. I'm not complaining about. I think it's great. I just don't understand why they killed off Jack. I just don't. Poor Jack. Wasn't even in the books. <laughs> I know. It's like the Game of Thrones guys just really liked him, and they were like, "Oh, we'll just chuck you in." Oh, we'll make it, Yeah. Yeah, we'll just do that. So, oh my gosh. We'll make a. We'll make a part for John. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching here today I, I feel kind of freaked out after this episode but anyways well you're gonna look out the window, I'm gonna look out the window and there's like an eye there like ah oh, no and then that'll be that so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next episode bye